guys, so I'm here today to film my recent favorites. I actually don't have a lot of favorites, but there were a couple things that I really wanted to talk about that like I didn't want to have to wait until whenever my next favorite video was going to be. So like, this will be short and sweet, but to the point. Um, I guess I'll start with face first, and the first thing I want to talk about is the Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder. This powder needs a thousand percent more love. I actually saw Jaclyn Hill talk about it, so I'm like, now I'm assuming the world will think it's great, but I talked about it like three months before her, so just saying, you're welcome, Jaclyn. Um, it is literally a lavender powder. I use it under my eyes today. I've been using it under my eyes since I bought it like two months ago, and I can't get enough of it. It smells really nice, first of all. Like, I don't know what the smell is, but I'm into it. But on top of that, it also is so super brightening under the eyes like my eyes have never been brighter I don't have dark circles anymore it's magical and Rihanna just like understands me at a spiritual level just saying um the other face product I want to talk about is the Catrice prime and fine dewy glow setting spray dewy glow fixing spray okay I will say could this be any smaller this is it next to fix plus however I will say Fix Plus has 100 milliliters in it, and this has 50 milliliters. So, like, it looks like it's less than half the size, but because it's, like, also, like, thinner, but I guess this packaging is thicker. And I compare it to this because it does remind me of uh, the MAC Fix Plus. I put it on to every, like, when I put my makeup on, I powder my face, and then I always feel like I look cakey. But then if I use this all over my face, I'm like, oh, I'm glowy and beautiful again, and I absolutely love it. You can get Catrice now at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it in store, but you can get them online. They're $9.99. So again, it's like a little pricey for how tiny it is. And you have to shake it before use because there's like illuminating particles in here. They're not glittery, but they're not not glittery. <laughs> they're not glittery. There's no like micro glitter on your face or anything. It's just like an illuminating product that you have to shake up. And then you kind of spray all over your face. And then you feel magical and glowy again. And like, look at my skin. Like, I'm so glowy today, and I didn't love the way my face looked. Like, if my face looks cakey at all, I just, like, give her with this, and then I look like a magic. It's magic. I look beautiful again. So, yeah. This is fantastic. I love this. I actually bought two from the Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique when I purchased it, so I'm, like, halfway down this one, which makes me sad. Um, I have three eye products. The first one is the Anastasia Sultry Palette. Okay, I didn't buy this. I didn't want this. I had no desire to have this. I got this in my uh, Beautylish Lucky Bag, and I'm obsessed with it. I have been wearing this nonstop since I got it. I do think some of the shimmers are a little bit redundant. Here, let me, let's do a little swatcheroo first. Some of the shades I think are redundant. So this is Cinder, and this is Rose Quartz. They're Obviously, one is way more pink than the other, but they're both kind of similar. And then if you swatch Steampunk, which is like a beautiful color, by the way, Ember. Like, also just look at like all of these colors together. Do I need all of these colors in one palette? I feel like they could have given me some diversity. Like, these are so similar. Same with like... This is also kind of similar to this one. Like, it's just, like, I do wish there were more diversity of shimmers in this palette. Hold on, I need to wipe this off my hand. But other than that, I do love the shades. Um, I've used tons of them. Today I'm wearing uh, Twig in my crease. This is such a beautiful, cool-toned taupe color that I've been wearing in my crease nonstop. I also have... Uh, a little bit of dystopian in my crease to build it up and I have cy cyborg cyborg on my inner part of my lid and then I have rose quartz on the center of my lid but I kind of blended cyborg over it it's so beautiful cyborg is such it looks silvery like it looks silver in the pan and I was like I don't really love a straight silver but when you look at it swatched it kind of has this like I don't know, like this taupey duochrome to it that really makes it super wearable because usually silvers aren't that wearable, but I don't know, it just makes it so wearable. I love the colors. I actually also wore uh, Bloom one day, just like really bucked into my crease and then I put uh, Pearl and Rose Quartz on my lid and it was 
such a beautiful spring look. Like at first I was like, what the fuck is this one shade doing in here? But like, I'm kind of into it now. I wish there were a little bit more, like, I don't know. I wish there was some more, like you kind of like kicked out one of those shimmers and gave me another like matte tone. But overall, I love this palette. I've been using it nonstop. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, Their eyeshadows are to die for. Like I love all of my Anastasia palettes so much and they're totally worth the hype. They're fucking amazing. I love them. So I would 100% recommend the Sultry palette. I know it's just like a regular ass neutral palette, but I love it. So this packaging, bye. Um, I've also been loving the Hourglass Caution Mascara, which I also got in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. Uh, this has just like a regular bristle uh, wand, but it's not too, it's not like too big. And what I like about this is that it's a nice mascara. I'm wearing it today, but like I don't wear fake lashes and I have lots of eyeliner on, so you probably can't see it. But what I like about this is that it does not come off. I um, have watery eyes and I usually only wear waterproof mascara. And this is not waterproof, but it also has stayed on my eyes so well. You really, it kind of feels like a waterproof mascara when I'm trying to take it off at night, but not as hard to get off. So it definitely, like I've heard this one is like a doesn't flake on anybody. It doesn't smudge. It's fantastic. And I love that about that. This packaging is also dope. Like it's like a triangle. I'm into it. So yeah, I love this mascara. I think it's fantastic. You need it. The next thing I want to talk about is the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Wanderlust. Did I just buy this? None of your fucking business. How about that? What is this hair doing? Bye. Um, okay, I did just buy this, I'm not gonna lie to you. Honestly, when I looked at it in the tube, I was like, this is not a shade I would love, but Robbie and Chrissy wouldn't stop fucking talking about it, and so I bought it, this is what it looks like here in the swatch. And as you can see, it's kind of like a rose gold shade with like green glitter, green and pink glitter in it, and it's fucking beautiful. Um, I've been wearing it with like a red, kind of like a burgundy smoky eye, and then this on like the inner part, and it's just, so beautiful. I fucking love these Stila Glitter and Glows. Like I feel like they got a lot of hype when they first came out and then they just kind of like died down and like they deserve all the hype in the entire world. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is actually the last makeup item I have to talk about, which is weird, but I do have two other things to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is the, uh, is it Thierry Mugler? I don't know. Uh, Alien perfume. I got this for Christmas. I just sprayed it. My cats are in here. They're gonna hate it. They hate when I spray things. It freaks them out. They're fucking weird. But um, I don't know how to describe scents. But I've been obsessed with this smell for a really long time. I smell it every time I go into the store. So I finally asked my mom for it for Christmas, and I don't know how to describe scents. But to me, it smells like usually I like. Spicy scents. Let me let me look up how this is described. Hold on. Why would I describe it for you when I can make the internet do my job? Duh. Okay, so it says it's a warm floral. Um, and its keynotes are jasmine sambok, cashmerian wood, and amber gris. Apparently, it's a floral, woody, amber fragrance that borders the realms of spirituality and sensuality. That's a lot of work for a perfume to do. It exudes a positive energy charge with sensual and intriguing mystery. Okay, this is all just lies. But I love the packaging, first of all. This little alien is cute. I've also seen like a refill station for Thierry Mugler perfumes at Shoppers Drug Mart. So that makes me think that like you can just like go like fill it back up. I don't know if that would like be cheaper or what the deal is, but like cool for like the environment and stuff. And like also I just love this smell. When I went to go get my hair extensions actually redone last month, my hair extension girl was like, why do you smell so good? <laughs> I was like, thank you so much, but it's my perfume. But yeah, I absolutely love this scent. I also really like their angel scent, but yeah, this is, this is gold. This is a great perfume. I absolutely love it. Couldn't talk enough about it. If you like kind of, like my other favorite perfumes are, uh, Richter and Ralph Flower Bomb and the Elizabeth and James perfume. Bourbon is my favorite, but I also like the white one for spring and summer. So this is a good, like to me, this feels more like a winter kind of fall scent because it's kind of got like that deeper undertones to it. But yeah, I, I love this. I wouldn't think I liked floral scents, but like these don't, like, these don't like smell florally to me. They smell like a lot of like 
more of like a spicy floral. I don't fucking know. I can't describe this. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about are my earrings. I'm going to give you... So I ordered these earrings off of Etsy. Um, I got my ears pierced last year. So I got my ears pierced when I was nine, but I let them, but I am allergic to metal. So I have to, I would have to wear pure gold when I was little and like I hate gold. So then I just stopped wearing earrings when I got into like my teen years and let them kind of close over. I'm just, because I'm so cool toned, I'm like a silver metal kind of girl. So I've always loved silver, but like it's hard. You'd have to get like a, state a sterling silver or um like a stainless steel because like my lip ring is stainless steel um and it's just like harder to find I think at a cheaper price range because like I'm also cheap so looking for earrings has always been difficult for me also because I'm not trying to spend a million dollars on them but I saw these on Etsy and they are called Dr faux druzzy earrings so these are the silver ones i got actually these are called gunmetal ones so these have a surgical steel i believe it's surgical steel backing and post um and i got them also in black so i'm obsessed with these what i like is i've had big earrings like this before but the post has been like kind of at the top so they hang down weird whereas these ones don't hang down weird at all. Um, I'm not sure which size I got. I'll put the information here. I ordered them off of, hold on, let me pull her business card out of here. This store is called Studio Rogue Handcrafted. I believe they ship from Alberta. So if you're in Canada, you should definitely check them out. If you're not in Canada, just search like faux druzzy earrings. I don't know what the fuck druzzy earrings are, but like they have like, they look kind of like, I don't know if you let me zoom you in hold on so this is what they look like as you can see they're gorgeous first of all they're a little like covered in makeup sorry for that but as you can see if I push it up it's like got like different like level layers in it they're like different kind of stones it's reflective it's cute I hope my ear is clean so yeah I picked these up I picked uh them up in two different colors because I think it was like 20% off if you bought two, no it wasn't, I, no I had a coupon code for like five, I had some sort of coupon code, but either way they cost me like $35 for two pairs of earrings plus shipping and handling which isn't bad for, especially for Etsy, so I'm obsessed with them, I love them, and normally when I buy like the earrings for sensitive ears, like from Claire's or Ardeen or whatever cheap jewelry store there is, my ears start to get annoyed after a couple days but I've had these in probably for like two weeks and my ears are totally fine so like they will actually are surgical steel because I find that some companies will be like yeah they're totally for sensitive skin but then they're just fucking shitty metals that'll give you an allergic reaction and they have to take them out so I love these earrings I think they're great I definitely recommend the shop I'll link it down below for you guys and that's it that's my whole favorite vi favorites video so thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below what your favorites are for this month. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I'm um, pretty sweet. My video before this was a rant video about Facetune, so if you're interested in watching me yell about people photoshopping their fucking pictures on Instagram, then check that out. It was pretty sweet. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.